And what do we have here? The Mark 47 suit from Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, I'm in trouble. I really am. Hello, folks. Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit embarrassed here. I, I told myself I wasn't going to get this suit. I had I have the power pose, the Mark 47. And I figured the power pose would hold me out. But seeing several reviews and uh, being able to acquire this particular figure at a really good deal, I could not resist. And I thought the power pose could hold me out, but it didn't. And I'm now here doing a unboxing uh, with you folks watching me. And I am really, really excited. I really do love this suit. I think I, I love this particular model versus the 46. And the Mark 46 is the suit that was used in a Civil War. Now, there's only one particular feature I, I really enjoyed about this suit and it is the remote suit the uh, when the helmet opens up and it signifies that Tony is controlling it uh, through Wi-Fi remote and that to me that's what jumped out because it's 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 a feature that Hot Toys has not done since I would say the Iron Man Mark II Unleashed and I wish they did that more I wish they would uh, give us these particular Iron Man suits with the open helmet to kind of give the illusion that it's empty. Otherwise, if the helmet is closed and it's lit, you assume that Tony is inside the suit. So um, this is nice. This is a nice treat. Um, again, I'm putting myself in trouble because I don't have my Hulkbuster yet. Uh, it's it's in pre-order, and I have several figures on the way. I also have Marty and Doc Brown coming in. So I wasn't planning on doing this extra spending, but here I am, and uh, I, I I can't wait. This is this is nice. Just popping up the uh, the legs here, removing the foam, doing you know the checks and balances here. This is a, a really nice, well designed figure. Hot Toys really put a lot of love. I I love the the Mark 46 they did. They did a phenomenal job. Uh, the hot rod red paint you know applications, and uh, this particular suit it's 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 all about the gunmetal. They really did. A bang up job on the gunmetal paint application. They they really did. I'm really happy with uh, with this look. Um, this is something that I talked about when I did the power pose review unboxing, and and how the the paint applications reflect light a little bit different on a die cast body versus a plastic body. And you know it, it just dawned on me I never um, did a side by side comparison. So I, I apologize. But if you want to see the power pose. Um, it's, it's on the channel if you want to take a look at that. Uh, this base here is a joke. Uh, this figure is extremely heavy. I don't plan on displaying this particular suit with that with that base. And um, going over the accessories there, the, the neck collar and, and the animated flames, I, I don't intend on using any of that. I'll uh, go back to that in a bit. But this is it. This is really what uh, I want to. And it's the, the, the open helmet here. This is... Uh, Honestly, the main reason I, I wanted this was just the that illusion that the suit is being controlled remote via. And I'm going to grab my iPhone light here to kind of show you the uh, details inside. Because I've, I've seen other reviewers uh, show you the helmet, but I, I like detail. And I want to kind of share that with you on this right here. And that's the thing about Hot Toys. They put so much love and detail in, into their uh, to their products. The Tony head sculpt, I believe it's exact same head sculpt we got with the Mark 47 via uh, the only thing that seems is different is the uh, bruise bruised eye since he got his ass kicked by by captain so uh, I, I'm gonna put this back in the back is I, I don't intend on displaying this suit with the uh, with the head sculpt I'm gonna use a wired base frame from one of the other suits so uh, I can do a, a head swap here and I'm eventually gonna use this base I, I don't like that wireframe base that came with it. This is more secure. The clip on is more rigid. It's it's more secure. Again, this is a top heavy figure. I, I don't understand why they wouldn't have included a better a better stamp. And I, now that I recall, I don't think they did a really good job giving us a, a, a good base for the Mark 46 either. I'm having issues here popping this thing out and I end up uh, kind of twist it and turn it and it flies out and 
and it hits my dog and it, it, it hits my dog right uh, right behind so I'm, I'm there looking for the piece and she gets startled and I'm like oh and I, I tell her I'm sorry but uh, <laughs> that was pretty secure and when I remove the, uh, the, f the, f the face plate there so I don't end up breaking it and, and it, it is magnetized snaps right on there and there you go this is how I'm gonna keep this particular shoot I this is I really wish that the power pose would have included this but I guess if well included the the uh, open helmet but I guess it wouldn't have been illuminated I guess that was the logic behind the power pose I, I'm not really sure I'm just really speculating on it um, look at this I mean this is really nice I mean the, the gun metal is just it's just beautiful I gotta tell you something, Hot Toys, I, I, when it comes to the Iron Man suits, if you guys follow me, I, I do love it. I do love the amount of work that they put into this, and uh, I look forward to the other diecasts that are coming out. I can't wait to get the Mark V and the Mark VI. I have those guys on pre-order, so that'll be a, a nice little treat next year. I think those have been delayed. And uh, what's nice about the uh, foam casing here, I'm just going to go ahead and just pop this right back. So I'm thinking, because I don't intend on using that or displaying with it. What else we have? And I think I'm done here with this uh, top level case here. I'm going to go ahead and, and seal this up and kind of move on to the uh, second story here of the accessories and kind of determine on what I want to use. I don't like animated flames. I no. To me, it it it, it breaks the illusion. One of the things I love about Hot Toys is that when they make the Iron Man suits, they look realistic, they look very film quality. And when you add illuminated flames or animated flames, it just breaks. It, it just it just does not work for me. Now this is cool. These are the I guess the Wi-Fi specs that Tony controls the suit. And uh, I, I do want to use these and I'm gonna end up uh, using them on the Mark 46. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And uh, he can cover up that shiner he got from Cap from his film, and it, and it should just snap right on. It's the exact same sculpt. There you go. So Tony can sport these, uh, I guess, Ray Bans. I'm not sure. Oakleys. <laughs> they look great on him. It works. It works really nice. Very, very nice. And, you know, since I have this guy out, I'm going to keep him out and uh, display him with the Mark 47. Again, I'm doing another look and check here this is cool I, I do like the rocket thrusters the little rocket I guess pings is what I'm gonna call them and uh, they're, they're, they're neat I am not against displaying them I just at, at this time I'm not going to just because I I'm running out of space I know that's that seems to be the uh, the consensus in the hot toys community I'm running out of space and uh, I don't really want to pull out uh, the wire stand and uh, display the rockets I uh, to me it, it's it's a cool feature but it's not particularly what I purchased this figure for uh, the unite brace if, if you want to use the Tony head sculpt and I'm not gonna illuminate him I'm not gonna honestly I'm not gonna waste my time powering him up putting the batteries just because I already have the mark 46 and I know what the suit looks like illuminated so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that then as far as the other additional accessories, I, at this point, I'm just going to keep them in its base. I, it, I, I'm not going to go ahead and, and display them. I mean, this is it. This is the look. This is what I, I like and what I really sought after. And, and again, I I didn't had no intentions of purchasing this guy. I didn't have him on pre-order. I had the power pose. And uh, um, I ended up picking him up on eBay, about 50 bucks less than the sideshow price. So... Uh, I, I couldn't resist, so I, I got a I, I got a good deal on him, brand new. So he ends up in my collection. <laughs> Beautiful suit, it really is. I, it's it's really hard. I always get you know comments, you know which suit do you prefer to know me, and it gets harder and it gets harder and harder. But uh, I would say the Mark 46 and the Mark 47 a lot better than the I want to say the Mark 45. It's that it was a suit that Tony wore in uh, Age of Ultron, not the Hulkbuster. Uh, I did not like that one. But uh, putting them together, it's they they really do pop. They really do look great. Let me know in the comments below if you guys uh, are uh, getting the Mark 47 or if you're saving your pennies like I am for uh, the Hulkbuster. 
Like, subscribe. Folks, leave your comments below. Thank you once again for joining me on another visual tour. Denobi 2, out.